it going everyone just want to do a quick video of uh, my review of the lap tracker app works out pretty good uh, I've been playing around with it and stuff it's like $2.99 on the app store I believe I got it a couple weeks ago it's $2.99 or $3.99 it's not much but uh yeah so I'm just gonna go over a quick video on how I set it up and how it works and show you a couple hot laps I'm turning so let's get into it so here I got my smartphone set up on my tripod facing the track open the lap tracker app I'll review that later it looks like this you go to setup this is where you can set up all your you know how many zones you want which is how many lanes zone width zone height Detection rate, start time, and amount of laps. I'm not entirely sure what the finish last lap is. I can never get that to turn on. But anyway, let's get into the hit the camera here. And there's my track. So you have your first zone. Put to the outside lane here. And we'll go back so say I got a four lane track so I'll hit four and go back to the camera and I got four zone squares put one and it doesn't pick up if I put it on the checker pattern for some reason yeah, it's pretty it's pretty easy to set up like that. Um, the only thing is, if the car casts a shadow, it'll pick up on a couple of different lanes. So it's a uh, if I could build some kind of overhead. Th see, that was my shadow, making them go off. If I could build some kind of overhead platform to set the phone on, like I did with the HO track, maybe put a, a couple LEDs for each lane, I think it'll work really well. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do one lane, because it's just me. Uh, show you the zone width. Go back to the camera. You can see how it's a wider zone, pickup zone. And then the zone height camera is how tall it is but we're just going to do ones across the board and we're going to be running this outside lane push a car across here see picks up all right so let me get the camera up on the tripod and uh, see what kind of numbers we can turn Alright, so there we go. You can see I did 10 laps. Average lap 311. Best lap 293. Race time 31 seconds. Uh, can't really see on the camera there, but it goes down. The best lap's in red. And uh, I have it set so it calls out your best. Like if you break your best lap, it'll call out the time. You can have it make a sound, or you can have it call out every time. But I only want to know if I bettered my last lap. So that's how I have it set up. Um, go back into the setup. 
but yeah you can have it just start when you hit start that five second delay how I have it or you can have it start on the first pass which is kind of cool too but uh, I like the countdown you know kind of give you the anticipation um, and stop display here where it shows lap list start and finish sound uh, lap sound no lap sound beep time lap and time how fast they uh, she says it sound on best lap only that's what I have it set up and then you can send the results which is kind of cool or just delete the results but uh yeah, I mean, for a couple dollar app, it's not terrible. Sometimes it misreads, it won't read. Um, it's more for, you know, just running by yourself, doing a little test and tune, messing around with cars and stuff. Uh, I don't know how it would be with, uh, you know, four cars running around here and shadows everywhere of guys and stuff, but we'll see. I'll give it a shot next time I got some buddies over. But, uh, yeah, until the next one, take it easy.